Okay, and Peverly, Aaron, you want to see Peverly's? You can put them in the, in the box if you want. Do you want to start the car? Oh, here, we have to show the cameras. They're going to oh, take a picture of the Oh, with you? Yeah, the yeah, you can do that. No, Pepper, so. um, I'm not sure you want to stay still. Yeah, let me take it, It's probably because he just got his claws done. He's probably a little upset. Pilgrim <laughs> says, I'm going. I'm, you know what I think we'll do, though, is um, I'll stick him in the pen one more time. Maybe he has to potty. Look how laid back she is. She really likes you, too. Pilgrim, and Pilgrim's a mush, you know, when you're holding him and he's sleepy and all that. Not even, he's, I mean, he's just a mushy boy. She's Go in there. Check out and see him. <laughs> That's because Siri does that. So put the cam on it. Huh? Okay. And then on Peverly. Erin. She's you want to have honey's record? Do you want to go over first? Isn't she beautiful? She really is a pretty cat. So we named her Peverly. And on both of these, I left your room if you want to change your names. Her birthday is August 5th, 11. Domestic short hair. And she's the marble tiger. That's that squirrel we talked about. Wow, the nails of age. Yeah. Real close. Did I make a mistake? I did. I'm so sorry. Thank you for noticing that. Because this one seems older. Yeah, she is. She's I put down her arrival date. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for noticing that. Um, where's my light? Oh. Oh, I don't know how you guys are going to like car rides. Yeah. About an hour long. And then um, when Peverly arrived, so when she was how 10 weeks old. Was Peverly was born on May 27th. So when Peverly arrived, she was 10 weeks old. And then so at 10 weeks and 13 weeks, she had the traditional mm -hmm. distemper series. And now that's done for a whole year. So she's not due until August 2012. Now on... Hmm? You want me to hold look her? Look how laid back she is. Why do you want me to hold her? She likes you better. <laughs> on these two, on these two kitties, like this is December and August, you can meet a happy medium in there for that next vaccine and see what, you know, see what um, Teasel is too. And then again on the leukemia, remember you don't have to do those again. And then uh, she arrived at 8-5, 10 weeks old, cast her on bath. That same day we did an FIV leukemia and heartworm test. All three were negative. We retested her four weeks later on the leukemia negative. These three dates here is a pyrantal, just like what he got. Now, she happened to be here when we go through everybody twice a year and do this panicure. Panicure is a broad spectrum uh, wormer, and um, so she was here when we did that. Uh, a lot of the kitties aren't here when we do it, but just we routinely, for the advice of our vet, go through twice a year and do it. Um, 8.13, she was had her physical by Dr. Cindy, and she was spayed. And then today's date, we cleaned her ears, nails trimmed. Neither one of these cats um, came in with ear mites, so that you shouldn't notice any problems with that either. And if you ever want us to trim their nails, you know, we do that at no cost. We always do that for everybody. And you can bring Teasel, and then we can see Teasel, too. So there is a good... Teasel kept jumping in the cat carriers when Aaron was oh. cleaning them out and getting them ready because we keep them in the garage so they got a little yeah. dusty. Yeah. So he wiped them down before we came and Teasel kept getting in. I wonder if he knew we were coming here. Coming here, I wonder. <laughs> so um, the thing is when you guys get home, put your carriers on the floor and just leave Spencer. the kitties in there. Leave the kitties in the carrier when you first get home and then try to coax uh, Teasel to come over and if he kind of grumbles and growls or whatever, just kind of play it low key. If you guys just sit there and be cool and calm with, with the two newbies, uh, Teasel will probably pick up off of you guys and just kind of play it cool. And then while you're waiting those five, ten minutes too, you can shut, go around the house and shut your house down a little bit. The extra bedroom doors, is it one floor? Or? Yeah. Okay, this will be easy then. Oh, just to make the house a little bit smaller. And then, now uh, this is something we didn't talk about, litter boxes, you have two. Two? Okay, by rights with three kitties, you should have three litter boxes. So if you're only doing two, you've got to make sure they stay clean. And that means like scooping at least twice a, twice a day, before school and after school, maybe bedtime. Wait, you don't have a third one? Let, let me see if um, she might have to go it, potty it too. It broke in the middle. Oh. What is it, a, the litter box did? We, we had three, but um, 
Well, just keep an eye on her, and then uh, she might have to go potty. She's been held quite a bit. Hey, Kendra, see that cat there, Beverly? Will you just keep an eye on her for us while we're still okay. talking? Yeah, just, you know, leave her go potty if she wants. We just don't want to lose her. Um, so then after those 10, 15 minutes, then go ahead and open the doors. And if Teasel wants to follow him around and sniff and snort a little bit, it's fine. And, you know, it usually doesn't take more than 24, 48 hours to really acclimate and that they're back to kind of being normal. Um, it's been showing that cats that come from shelters where they're caged, they usually take seven to ten days to fully acclimate. Um, the cats that are free range like this, it usually just takes a, a couple days to get it. Well, I think that's probably what happened to Teasel, isn't it? Just a couple. Um, we're right in. <laughs> with like, hey, I'm home. Look at me. Here, here I, I am. <laughs> so um, you need to get that second litter box set up ASAP. We have both. We have you two. You got them now. Okay. We have two. They're both out. We okay. Just Very important to keep them clean, though, because you've got three kitties now. And then um, the yeah, first yeah. hour, gosh, I hope you guys have time to do this yet tonight. Every 20 minutes or so, for a couple times at least, pick up both of your kitties and show them where the boxes are, show them where the food is. Don't worry if they're off for a day or two because, you know, they're changing. Everything about their whole life is changing right now. So don't worry if it is. Just give them lots of reassurance that everything's going to be okay. Um, do you have any questions? No. No? Are you okay? All right. Yeah. <laughs> They'll sleep with you. I know they will. Sarah's got an electric blanket. Everybody oh, likes this room. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> but Spencer has a bunk bed, and he's a like kid. Like the top. Yeah. Teasel sometimes comes in with me and sleeps down on the feet. We don't close so. the door. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Te Teasel's a bed hopper. Now, so I'm going to put these in here. Okay. There's lots of toys, and since you're doing two, we... we oh, excuse me. Oh no. You okay? Oh darn, I missed. Come here. Are you okay? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. That had to hurt your tummy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she talked. Yeah, she says I'm a little embarrassed. So there's an extra bunch of um, toys in there. There's two of these, and these, this is what I was talking about that baby food. Spencer. That's what I was talking about. He likes so, the cam. <laughs> yeah, he's just reading. So make sure you do this a finger or on a spoon. Not, not on plate because you want them to know who you are. There's lots of toys. Their health records are in there. So their adoption fees are 90 a piece. And okay. check, is okay. mm -hmm. check is fine. And you'll call in a couple of days. Let us know how they're doing. I think you called me before, didn't you? Um, or did you? Teasel. The yeah, teasel. Teasel. He called Teasel for yeah. Teasel. And then, or, or at least put some on our Facebook so that everybody knows how they're doing. Otherwise, we'll on both of us. okay. Otherwise, they bug me about. Have you heard? And then we'll take <laughs> pictures of you guys, and with Teasel too, everybody can Just sit leave. on the couch together. Yeah, yeah that would be nice. No, you know Teasel. He likes sitting though. He's a big boy. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so you guys are okay. You're all square. You know what you're doing. Spencer, why all can't right. we get along like that? <laughs> It's cute, isn't it? a couple more home. Let me go get them. Sometimes I see the dad, sometimes I see the son, sometimes I see the other two people. 
I just know I know where the vet is. So okay. What you guys going? I know where it is. The line was wrong. Oh. It's like Fort Wayne Pet Hospital or something. There you go, babies. I love them. Oh, Kendra, you're fired from your job. <laughs> I'm going to have you hold those because it's a cat scam. Uh, you you lost her? What happened to the tiny sister? I need to see some more. Where'd she go? She was right Nothing but bug me every time I come. Oh, yeah. You are never bug. Okay, you want to say goodbye? Two in a row. You did good. Here's Peverly. We didn't forget. Say bye bye, everybody. Isn't she beautiful? You did it, girl. <laughs> I don't know if that sounded very good in there. Yeah, you need something in there yet, don't you? Is he in there? No. Oh, he needs a cat, but he's got a blanket in there. Okay. As long as you got a blankie, we can we can put you in the cat. Yeah. Just put it down there. Trying to. Okay. 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 One more time for for Pilgrim. If Peverly, Peverly's from Toledo, she might be watching. Peverly, your kitty's going to get to go. Yes, you are. You're too sweet and cute. Not you. Hi. I know. We thought we were going to get you to one. We did. We thought it was going to be you. Well, look at this. Look how funky. See how they took her legs out.